Hey there viewers, it's Charlie, I'm back again. Oh, well, this is the first two videos in one day. Well, if you remember earlier today, at the time of this recording, I reviewed G1 Frost because of the G1 Marathon. Well, I figured, why should I wait until the end of the marathon before I start reviewing more modern figures again? Instead, every time I get a new Transformers figure that's not G1, because I'm waiting until after the marathon before I can start collecting more G1 figures. Every time I get a new Transformers figure, I'll, I'll review it the day after I get it, after a G1 review has been recorded. So, today, I shall be reviewing... Cybertron Lugnuts. Or, if you're not boring... Galaxy Force Roadstorm. And first of all, the name, Lugnuts. I, I don't think that's a good name, honestly. I mean, Lugnuts, but instead of an S, it's a Z. That's very gimmicky. I feel like they should have just called him Roadstorm. Because that was his Japanese name. But, anyway... Having having a look at this guy's vehicle mode, we can see, well, he's a motorcycle. Got this cool Decepticon license plate here. Now, normally this guy's supposed to ha uh, This is where my tongue stops working. This is... Well, this spot is supposed to hold a gun, which is actually called Dutch. I'm not joking. But, of course, I don't have it. Underneath, which doesn't have any... Doesn't have any any robot junk whatsoever. And, well, that, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. Although, this is a Cybertron figure, so... Here we have the Cyber Key. This being an Earth Cyber Key, and... Well, this is my third Cyber Key. Well, my third Earth Cyber Key, you see? I already have three others, one from Thundercracker, one from Swindle, and one from this guy. And with this one, the code is S S3Y6. Now, back in the Cybertron days, you could put that into a website, and it could it would unlock additional info about Lucknuts. Pretty much, it's similar to. How the siege figures have the backlight code they can input into the website. It's very similar to that. If anything, I think the siege backlight gimmick was inspired by the cyber key gimmick. But speaking of cyber key gimmick, if we insert that into here, it flips this out. You see? I don't know if this is supposed to be like a little missile launcher or something, but. Eh. But that's pretty much it for his vehicle mode, so if we can just get him transformed, and this is sort of a unique transformation. We, we move this bit down, open that up, and flare out like so. Move that around like so. And, well, just try and... Uh, Move down the feet with this. Take this and turn that around, and then take the legs and move them down. Come in here, try and split the front part of the motorcycle like so. Flip out the arms, which are on a double hinge. Try and Plug that into there. I am doing a horrible job of showing this, but try and plug this into the back. Try and move down the... Try and orientate the arms like so. So the motorcycle is actually... Well, it's on the sides of his arms. And then just lift up his face. 
And if you, if you get him standing and his head doesn't fall back and he doesn't flop around because you've done the transformation wrong because I'm an absolute idiot. Here we have Lugnat in his robot mode. Or well, the way I interpret his robot mode. As well, I think my copy is missing some is missing something. Because I've seen other copies that have like little like I've seen other copies that have this actually filled in, so there must be a bit that can pop off, and my copy just doesn't have it whatsoever, so he looks a bit awkward and doofy, and rather back-heavy, you see? But yeah, it just wouldn't be a Transformers figure if I didn't, str if I didn't struggle with it. I mean, hey, I got this guy for under a tenner, so what are you gonna do? Now, ha now coming for a look at this guy's head, we can see that, well, it's rather beachcomber-esque, what of the visor, and although the, well, what of the visor, even though it's yellow, and if anything, this guy actually, in the Cybertron series, he's spoken a similar way to beachcomber. So yeah, Cyber Cyber Key gimmick does still work, although well, I have to be careful because keep in mind this is barely plugged in on my copy. So trying to insert this and remove it can be a bit awkward. So I can even get this in. There we go. So you can still have the missile launcher. So you can still have the shoulder mounted missile launcher. So, yeah. Now, for our articulation, his head can't move side to side of a can look up and he can look into himself. Arms. Well, he, he can sort T pose, but these things can get in the way, so I'd recommend him be careful with that. He does have elbows. Nothing at the waist. Can do the splits, which is amazing. Legs can move forward like this. You can go back that far if you. If your figure decides to not untab, because that's actually my biggest complaint. And he's got knees, like so. So, that's pretty much it. Now, complaints. It's probably just with me, but... This part untabs way too easily. Although, as I said, it's probably just with my copy. Not to mention, it can get rather back-heavy, because of course... Every figure has to be back heavy. But if you if you, if you can get him standing like this, then well he looks rather cool, especially with the size of the motorcycle and his shoulders. But that's pretty much it for my review on this guy. I mean, do I recommend him do I recommend lug nuts? Well let's say only if you really, really want this guy. Because me personally, I'm not really a big fan of this guy. I mean, his transformation's cool, although with my copy, he's top-heavy, he can fall down easily, he's missing a bit, plus the back bit can untab quite easily, so, I'm sh as I said, I'm sure it's just my copy, but still, I re I'd say only get this guy if you really want him. There's other, there's other better Cybertron Scout figures you can spend your money on. So, this has been my review on Cybertron Lugnuts, and this is Charlie Young, signing off. And don't worry, I'll go back to the G1 Marathon tomorrow.